Stephanie Wade is live nearby with the latest for us. Stephanie. Tanya and to Terrell, some residents have been returning to their homes this morning to gather their belongings and see the damage. One person was killed in this early morning fire that broke out just before 2 a.m. Police just wake me up by uh, 2 in the morning telling me about the uh, building is on fire. Juan Carlos Baldovinos thinks his dog first smelled the smoke as he was sleeping. He acted like kind of weird, like trying to tell me something. And it was weird because he never does it. A short time later, firefighters burst into the nine unit apartment building at 87th Street and 80th Court in Hickory Hills to find two people inside a first floor unit's kitchen area. One of the male victims did not survive. The other male victim was taken to Christ Hospital in serious condition. Roberta Roman's daughter and her boyfriend live directly next to the first floor unit where the fire began. Thankfully, they're out of town on a trip, but her dog was still inside. I jumped out of bed and was dressed in two minutes. Yeah. So, uh... I know she's not there, but this dog is part of her life. Too much gratitude, their dog was found safe in a very smoky apartment, Roman says. I'm relieved, and like I said, I'm going to go in right now because you know, I don't know even I don't know what the smell is like in there. I don't know if there's fire damage. There might not be anything. Who knows? It's an older building. They're usually built a lot better than today's buildings, so I'm going to pray for that, and then hopefully they can come home and just spend the night at their home. That's what I'm hoping. And officials say the fire was contained to one unit in this three-story building, but several other families have been displaced. Meanwhile, the preliminary investigation found the fire began in a bedroom, likely caused by cigarette smoking. Tanya Trell, back to you. Stephanie Wade in Hickory Hills. Stephanie, appreciate